they should make their offerings to God to get his command. He said that God would send lightning from the skies, and if the lightning burns the offering, it would be a sign of God's acceptance of the offerings, and if this did not happen, it would indicate God's rejection of the offering. One day came when a new chapter of life was started, when lustness was took priority on blood relation, when jealousy sparked the first crime in humankind, In the beginning, long before the bustling of cities and the vastness of civilizations, there existed a story. When people were living a simple life and the life of the people was peaceful, but one day came when a new chapter of life was started. When lustness was took priority on blood relation. When jealousy sparked the first crime in humankind and one brother was killed by other brother. But what was happened? A new chapter of life was begin. So stay with us to unravel this important fact from the chapter of the history. His story is begin with the start of human's life on the earth. In the dawn of creation, Allah molded Adam with his divine hands, breathing life into the first human being. Alongside him, Eve was fashioned, both granted a unique status as the pioneers of humankind. Adam and Eva were first humans on the earth. Eva was the spouse of the Adam. Eventually, Adam and Hawa, or Eve, started to bear children, giving the earth its first inhabitants. And from there, earth was filled with mankind. It is believed that Hawa bore sets of twins, and in each birth, there was a male and a female child. In the first generation of mankind, they were commanded that each son would marry the sister of his brother with whom she was born. In other words, no one was allowed to get married with his sister with whom he was born. Life was simple, with agricultural roots. Adam was taught certain basic skills such as grazing, farming, milling flour, and baking bread. It was not a life of luxury, and there was no material wealth to be obsessed with. Yet before long, jealousy sparked the first crime in humankind. It was a crime of murder and was motivated by the jealousy of Kabil, one of the sons of Adam Ass, against Habil, his brother. Habil and Kabil were the two sons of Adam. Although born of the same womb, Habil and Kabil had opposite personalities. When they grew up, Habil became a shepherd and raised cattle, and Kabil cultivated vegetables and fruits. Habil had an energetic and hard-working disposition and carried on his affairs in a humble manner. He was in constant remembrance and thanks to Allah and loved to sacrifice in the way of Allah. He had a kind and compassionate personality and never complained. He lived his life in complete reliance on Allah and was extremely generous by nature. Kabil was the opposite. Kabil was rough by his temperament and behavior. Apart from being lazy, he had no gratitude towards Allah. He was constantly discontented with whatever Allah had given him and never spared the time to thank Allah for the bounties bestowed on him. There was little, if any, remembrance of Allah in his heart, for he was constantly blaming, complaining, and comparing his circumstances to those of others. He looked on life through the eyes of jealousy and envy, blaming everyone, Allah and his parents included, but never himself. When the time came for them to marry, they could marry only according to Adam's sharia, that is, one could marry a brother's sister, but not one's own. Since Habel's sister was not so beautiful, Kabil did not want to marry her. Instead, he wanted to marry his own sister, which was not permissible. So Adam proposed that they should make their offerings to God to get his command. He said that God would send lightning from the skies, and if the lightning burns the offering, it would be a sign of God's acceptance of the offerings, and if this did not happen, it would indicate God's rejection of the offering. So Habil made his offering of an animal from his flock, and Kabil offered some inferior quality of grains from his farm. It so happened then that God sent the lightning which burnt Habil's offering, but it did not touch Kabil's offering. 
This rejection of Kabil's offering angered him very badly. He became outrageous and grew extremely jealous of Habil. He thought of killing him. One night, when Habil was asleep, he hit his head with a heavy stone which killed him. After killing Habil, Kabil did not know what to do with his body. He carried him on his waist and came out looking for a way to dispose of his body. On the way, he saw two crows aggressively attacking each other, which ultimately led to one crow killing the other. Then the crow that had killed the other crow started digging the earth and buried the crow that he had killed. This was the way Kabil was taught how to bury his brother. Although Kabil was sad about the heinous crime he had committed, but he did not seek God's forgiveness. This made him a sinner, and his name went down in history as the first killer on this earth.